Hey guys, everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal and Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we caught the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh, and in this episode, we are going to catch its counterpart and the mascot of Pokemon Silver and Soul Silver, Lugia. So, let's make our way to the Whirl Islands. What you need is actually a Pokemon. You will need a Pokemon with Flash and Whirlpool, so make sure you bring your Pokemon with those. As you can see, I only have three members, well, two members of my main party, Slowbro and Heracross, and I do have Parasect, so I can use Spores. So, yeah. What you have to do is actually make your way to the second island, which is down this way, and it is the uh, closest to Olivine City, so it is the second to the right, and it should be this one there that I'm like right above. So we'll make our way there and just need to spray another, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so spray another repel. And I'm really hoping that Lugia does not take that long to catch. Ho Ho was very, uh, very understandable when catching, or understand why I came and was caught very easily. Now I'm hoping Lugia will be the same because I. Honestly, I hate going into the World Islands, they just... I used to get lost a lot when I played when I was younger, so going in here brings back some terrible memories. It's kind of like going through Dark Cave, or whenever I went... not Dark Cave, uh... In Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow when I was younger as well, when I went through Rock Tunnel without the... Uh, without Flash, I mean... It's... it's doable. Obviously it's doable, but having Flash just makes everything much, much, much easier. So let's use Togepi, and use Flash, and that will light up this area. So I'm not really using Togepi or uh, Gyarados as party members, only so I could get here to the Whirl Islands and get inside with uh, Whirlpool and then use Flash. So they'll be going back in the PC after this episode, but for now we are just making our way to the legendary Pokemon, and hopefully, as I said, this thing will be very easy to catch like uh, Ho-Oh was. So we can get a Max Revive, I believe, if we go over there, but again, this is a Nuzlocke, so Max Revives are pretty much useless. I also have my Spear with me, I believe, so I can fly once I'm finished with this place. So. This is where we're meant to go. Remember, if you don't have the Silver Wing, go back to uh, Pewter City and get it. Probably should have said this at the start of the episode, but all you have to do is talk. Oh, I already showed it whenever I was playing. So all you have to do is talk to like an old man that is out in the middle of Pewter City. Speak to him, and he'll give you the Silver Wing, and that's pretty much it. So now that we've done that, let's uh, surf across the water here and find ourselves a legendary Pokemon. So let's engage it. Alright, so here we have Lugia, the uh, psychic and flying type, which for some reason lives underwater. Whatever, it's fine, I can't judge. So, gotta hope it doesn't use Gust right off the bat, and we actually outspeed and get in a Spore, which is awesome. So, uh, Parasect just doing what Parasect does best, getting Spores in on Legendaries. That's pretty much all it seems to do. So, what I'm gonna do is switch out into Slowbro. Slowbro pretty much resists everything this thing wants to do, so it's definitely my best option to go out into, and Lugia is still fast asleep, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to go for a Surf and see how much it does. It should do about a third, maybe. Lugia is rather bulky, so it can definitely take some hits like uh, Surf, and it shouldn't do too much, so I'm kind of hoping we don't take it out. I don't think we will. It is eight levels higher than us, and yeah, look at that. That is nothing to Lugia, so we'll go for another Surf and hopefully take it down a bit more, and I may just uh, throw an Ultra Ball at it for the sake of throwing one, just to see if I can catch it. I probably won't catch it like right off the bat, but... If I do, that would be pretty sweet. That did a lot of damage, so it's at half HP. We'll throw an Ultra Ball just to throw an Ultra Ball, I guess, just to see how it goes. And hopefully we can catch this thing. So, it's in the Ultra Ball. And, uh, come on, Lugia. We got one. Alright, so we got one roll, that's fine. And Lugia has woken up. And it's using Gust, so luckily I don't have Parasite out there. Parasite would get absolutely destroyed by one of those, so... Let's go for Surf again. This thing has Surf, Gust, Hydro Pump, and... Re oh, no, it doesn't have Surf, but it has, uh, Gust, Recover... Uh, Hydro Pump, and uh, I can't remember what its last move, but I don't think it has Aero Blast, even though Aero Blast is its signature move. Anyway, Surf is going to bring it down to very low HP, so we can throw another Ultra Ball at it, and hope that it doesn't use Recover, because I don't want to be caught in like a Stall War with this Lugia. So let's see if we can catch this thing. Uh, that broke out like straight away, that sucks. And it is going to use Rain Dance. So Rain Dance is its last move, I totally forgot I had Rain Dance. No Aero Blast, which is good, because that would totally uh, demolish my Parasect. Anyway. When I get down to, I think, six Ultra Balls, I think it's fair, I will start speeding up and, uh, so you guys don't have to watch it all. But, hopefully, we can catch it quicker than that, because that would be awesome. And it's going for Rain Dance again, so, for whatever reason, I don't understand, whatever, it's fine. I'll th let's throw another Ultra Ball, and we have, like, ten more attempts before I start speeding up, because I don't want to be doing this forever, so, let's just see if we get it this time. Uh, that didn't even roll once, that sucks. Lugia is going to recover now, which is fine. I can just hit it with the Surf. Uh, recover will bring it back up 50% HP, so it's not bad at all. Rain continues to fall. I think my Surf will have a little bit more power 
this time. If that, I, I'm not sure if that actually works. I'm pretty sure that does work in Generation uh, Generation 2, that Water-type moves do get the boost from Surf, or from uh, Rain Dance, so let's just hope that this does more than the first uh, two hits did. And if it does, it should bring it down to uh, the middle of the yellow bar. So, yeah, that is a lot more power than before. So what we're going to do is try and catch it again. And um, I'm at pretty much, I'm at enough HP where I can take another hit and then just heal up on the next turn. So, come on, Lugia. One. All right, okay, that sucks. And Lugia is going to recover itself back up to full HP. So I'm going to go for another Surf, trying to weaken it down again. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can do, really. So, go for Surf. As it goes for Gust, that's going to do nothing because uh, Slowbro is very defensive physically as well as specially, so it can take hits rather well. So we'll go for Surf, try and weaken it down. I'm kind of, like, there's no really, there's not really an opportune time for me to switch out into Parasect just because of uh, how annoying this thing can be. So let me just use a uh, Hyper Potion to heal myself up to full HP. And my Hyper Potions are near the top of the bag, so up here, there we go. Um, yeah, there's no really an opportune time for me to switch out into Parasect to try and go for Spore because this thing has Gust and it can use that any time. But maybe that could have been my opportune time, I don't know, it really just depends, like, it it, it can use Gust and totally one-shot me, so I mean, I don't want to risk that happening because I need Parasect for uh, the next Legendary and final Legendary Pokemon I'll be catching, so come on, Lugia, just stay in the Ultra Ball this time, please, please, you suck. You suck, Lugia, even though I want to catch you, so you don't suck that much, but that's just annoying. I'm actually thinking I can go for Psychic, because Psychic is, like, not very effective, so it should do decent enough damage to this thing. Bring it down to probably, uh, just shy of red, maybe even not that much, because Lugia is very, very bulky, so it can take this hit really well. And yeah, that's, that's doing enough, I guess. So I can, th uh, try and go for another Ultra Ball, and see if I can catch this thing. And if I can, that would be sweet, so come on, Lugia, just stay in the Ultra Ball, please. That sucked, I didn't even roll once. And now it is going to Gust again, pretty much denying me the opportunity to, sw to switch out into Parasect because I can't really, like, risk taking a, uh, taking a Gust because it would definitely one-shot me. So, I'm gonna go for another Psychic, hoping I don't get, like, a critical hit or a, well, a Special Defense Drop would be fine because then I could, uh, do more damage with Surf's on the next turn. We did get a Special Defense Drop, so that's good. So next time I use Surf's, that'll do a lot more damage, should it use Recover, but I have to be kind of careful that I don't take it out by using that because that would suck. And, uh, wow, it's not even moving, so... It is going to Gust again, pretty much denying me any switch into my uh, Parasect to put it to sleep. So I'm pretty much going to have to keep throwing Ultra Balls until I catch it. So, uh, yeah, let's hope this one catches it. One, two... Ugh. Getting hy I'm getting hyped. I'm like, I'm... There we go. So as you recover, pretty much gives me another shot at weakening it down a bit. As it brings itself up to a lot of HP, pretty sure Surf will not kill. So I'm going to go for that and hopefully not take it out. Rain Dance will boost its power though, so I am kind of worried that I'll take it down too much. But it could take it down in the first ring while I really don't want to look, so I'm afraid I'll take it out. So, um, yeah, let's just hope we don't take it out. I have a feeling it may do it. And that is not going to take it out. That is perfect HP. Phew, I was worried there. I thought it was dead. But come on, Ultra Ball. Do your thing. Catch this Lugia for me, please. Catch it. One, two. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Alright, so, Gust again. I think I'm going to hit, uh, heal up just in case it wants to go for Hydro Pump and uh, try and take me out. So I'm going to, yeah, definitely heal up here. Best, It's my best option to get myself up to full HP and pretty much uh, ready to attack on the next turn. So, there we go, all healed up as he goes for Gust, or not attack, but throw another Ultra Ball on the next turn. I'm kind of hoping it will use Recover because then I can, like, oh, I can't really hit it with anything. I'll have to use, uh, probably Psychic to weaken it down again because I can't really risk going for Surf in the off chance that I would take it out from there, because as you saw, that one did a lot of damage, so gotta be careful. And, uh, let's see, we didn't even get anything that time, that sucks. As Lugia goes for Gust, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, Lugia, um, I've never really been that big a fan of Lugia, I haven't really, I don't really like ho that much either. They're pretty decent, I guess, but, I mean, I don't really care that much about them, so I've never really, like, worried about getting them, but I just want to do it because... Uh, if, like, I always like catching, when I'm doing a series or whatever, a Let's Play, I really like catching Legendary Pokemon if I can, so... Well, yeah, pretty much. So, wow, that got a critical hit, okay, I need to heal up. How many Ultra Balls do I have left? Uh, two, I've, well, uh, 62, but two more attempts before I start speeding up. So, yeah, we, hopefully we can catch it in these next two turns. If not, I'll start speeding up, and I'll pretty much show to where I catch it. If it takes too long, if I get, free, if I get brought down to 40 Pokeballs or Ultra Balls by the time, uh... 
I've sped up. I will probably just cut to whenever I catch Lugia because it's probably taking me too long otherwise. So wow, this thing went for recover twice, which means I could have went for surf there, but whatever. We'll see how much a psychic does. Probably take it down uh, like not even a third, maybe, but decent enough damage. I hope. I hope I don't get another special defense drop though, because that would be terrible. And yeah, that did nothing, and I don't get a special defense drop, so I'm safe to go for surf. And it goes for recover. That's good. Lugia playing a little bit strategically here. That's fine. It's pretty much just letting me do a lot of damage with Surf, which I am happy to do, because the more I can weaken this thing down, the better. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just have to risk going for Surf, I guess. So that did a third. We can hit it with another one. As it goes for a Hydro Pump, gotta hope that I don't get a critical hit, because that would be horrible. And that didn't do much, so come on, Surf, don't get a critical hit. I, I really hope this doesn't get a critical hit, because this will bring it down to perfect HP to be caught. Otherwise, so come on, come on, don't get a critical, don't get a critical. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, let's go for an Ultra Ball again. Two more attempts, or one more attempt before I started speeding up. So we gotta hope I catch it here. Come on, Lugia. Why can't you be like, ho oh, ho oh, oh, just wanted to be caught whenever I went to catch it. ho oh, took two Ultra Balls. I mean, come on. It was, ho oh, oh, wanted to be caught. Why can't you want to be caught? Why don't you want to be caught? Um, you're joining the great team here if you get caught. Alright, so, I'm gonna start speeding up. And if it takes me more than uh, 40 Ultra Balls, or if it takes me down to 40 Ultra Balls, I will probably be just cutting to when I catch it. So, I will see you guys whenever I get it, I guess. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> really? Just as I say, I'm gonna speed up Lugia gets caught. But, <laughs> of course, but there we go, Lugia is caught, I don't even have a nickname for this thing, so, um, I think I'll just call this thing, like, I don't know, I'll just call it, like, Divine or something, I don't have a nickname for this thing planned out, probably should, but, anyway, there we go, Lugia is caught, that, that has to be so stupid, I mean, oh, I'm gonna speed up now, Lugia is caught, of course, that is just, look at that, I didn't have to speed up, but still, that sort of, of course. Anyway, we are pretty much out now, I believe. All I have to do is actually, well, I could just use my uh, escape rope that I have. But I'm pretty sure this leads to a way out, I think. So, there we go. We should be on the way out. Uh, this is a way out here, actually. So, uh, no, it isn't. It's pretty much, it's near an exit, though, I think. So, yeah, that's, I hope I, yeah, all right, there we go. This is an exit. So, there we go. That is pretty much going to wrap it up here. In the next episode of Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke, we are going to be catching the final legendary Pokemon in the game. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. So, catch you then.